Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Jordan R. Reed here, and today we are talking all things photo file format related. So there are a bunch of different file formats that I've encountered since entering this world of photography. And if you're not hip, I'm not surprised. Maybe you haven't been following me on Instagram or something. You need to go follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I am back and we are going to be talking all things photo related. I've been a full-time photographer for the last eight months now. Wow eight months and now I just want to start sharing on YouTube more just little free smoke little free tips for you guys and today we are starting with this one all about file formats so you're probably familiar with one of these at least that we're going to talk about which is JPEG but hopefully I can introduce you to something you didn't know about some of these other file formats so of course Everyone knows JPEG. JPEG is the standard digital photo format. Now, if you're taking a picture on your iPhone or on your DSLR camera, you can use JPEG. So most cameras are set up to shoot with JPEG automatically. Those are compressed digital file formats and they're just standard viewing for anyone. They're able to be read by almost anything that can see a picture so those are our standard JPEGs that's the first one now on the other hand of JPEG we have RAWs which are uncompressed digital photo formats now these file types they contain all of the data from your image and help you be able to control things like the exposure, the contrast, the shadows, the highlights in post-production. So if you're doing any post-production work, it's always best to shoot in RAW. Now, RAW looks different depending on what camera brand you use. If you're using a Canon, like me, then you're gonna look at a .cr2 file whenever you are getting a, taking a raw image. But if you shoot with Sony, then you're looking at an ARW file or a NEF file if you are shooting with Nikon. So it really just depends. They're all the same thing, but they just are different depending on the camera brand. The thing with raw photos is that you have to have a raw editor in order to be able to view these photos. So if you don't have a raw editor, then when you put those pictures on your computer, you may not be able to see them because they require a raw editor. Some examples of raw editors are Capture One, Lightroom, ACDC, any of those are considered a raw editor and you'll be able to view those pictures using any of those software plus a slew of other softwares out there that I have probably yet to work with. In addition to those raw files that I just mentioned, Adobe created its own version of their standard raw file format and that is a DNG file. And I actually believe that there are some camera brands out there that shoot DNG automatically and that's their standard version for a raw file format. So essentially whenever you're taking a picture you're going to see a raw or a JPEG version of that image whenever you upload it onto your computer. Now from there once you start editing pictures you start to see two other file formats and that's a PSD or a TIFF file. PSD files are the standard Photoshop file format. They allow you to save layers, filters, any corrections that you make to your image in that PSD file format. Also, these file formats are pretty large and they're not compatible with other softwares, but they are great if you don't need to use it anywhere other than Photoshop because they save all of your layers, all of your color corrections, all, any changes that you make to your image, they save it in that PSD file. But TIFF files also allow you to save all of that data around your image in addition to the layers 
and tonal corrections, highlights, shadows, all of those things. Tip files also save that information and tip files are read across the various raw editing softwares. So personally, whenever I am working on editing an image, I'm saving to a TIFF file before I'm saving to a PSD file. When I first started playing with Photoshop and trying to figure out how to work it all, I was always saving as PSD. But now that I've been kind of working and doing this a lot, I just save it as, as TIFF files. It's industry standard and I'm always just trying to stay aligned with industry standard. So those are the different file formats that we have. We got JPEG, we got our RAWs, whether it's a CR2, .NEF, .ARW, or it's a DNG standard file, RAW file format. We have those, and we got our PSD and our TIFF file formats for once we've begun the retouching process. So I hope you guys were able to learn something new today. If you have any questions for me, be sure to leave it down below in the comment section or head over to my Instagram page where we are currently doing 25 days of giving and we're giving a lot of fun photography, little knickknacks away during these 25 days. It's going from December 1st all the way to December 25th and you even have a chance to enter in to win a role or a spot in my photography class that is going to be starting back up in January. We are wrapping up the first round of this class actually this Saturday and the next round is going to be starting the week of January 20th. So if you're setting your New Year's goals and one of those goals is to get better with photography and better your skills and retouching, understanding how to shoot manually, all of that. I'm here to help you and we are starting in January. So if you want to enter in to potentially win a free spot in that class, you better head on over and start entering in on these giveaways and see which day we are giving that away. And also you might have the opportunity to win just a free one-on-one -on -one editing session with me. So slide on over to Instagram and see what you can get yourself. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and check back every week for new videos from me as we continue to cover and navigate these different areas of photography. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.